You know this man took much care. Yes. Being suffering now long. Sleep in this old car here. Because he not say I'm not a body for the time. I don't he need help. He need a room. He need shelter. Yes. In a free mansion, but somewhere for putting me in. From me know him, I'm not saying nothing good to him. Me Explain. Separation. Explain. Battering, suffering. So, so, so you say he, he sleeps in either one of these cars? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 30 years ago, what was his life like? What was his family structure like? Yeah. Based on how you know it, you knew it. Cut and put him for cut. And my poor, then this is like he's going to come out of Because we're going to people who have to disrespect you. And I ask the whole world to have mercy and sympathy and compassion for him. Find a little shelter for him, please. In the name of Jesus, please. So this is where you sleep. Of the mighty race, you can accomplish what you will. Those are the words from the great Marcus Messiah. Marcus Garvey, you're my teacher. Marcus Garvey, yes, you are the one. Marcus Garvey, you have changed me. And direct me of the works that must be done. You are the prophet sent from God. You are the Moses. Arnett Garden, a little area known as Mexico. I'm here with Patrick Duncan. Remember there was a story in the star about a man that has been living in a car for well over 10 years. I contacted my friend George and we're going to make a difference. We're going to build a nice little one bedroom right here for you. That's the genius king.
Honey Lampard, move your hand like you want to do. A very pleasant good afternoon, Andrea. ladies and gentlemen. Here we are in Mexico in Arnold Gardens. As you can see, we're working on the home for Patrick Duncan. The Rudolf Prendergast Foundation has committed themselves to helping this man who has spent almost 10 years living in a car, an old abandoned car. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're doing. This is what we call caring and sharing. We don't even have a dollar, but we can help each other. Because when you put your dollar, my dollar, this dollar, their dollar, it becomes more dollar. And we can all live comfortable. Not rich, but comfortable. Now if we big up my brethren, Kingman, anyway the Kingman, big up yourself. Big up you like Snow. Big up you like Timmy. Big up you like Carlos and my brethren Lurch. You don't know the thing going up. We dip on the ground, I hold it down. Because guess what? When you have love in your heart, then you can produce love everywhere. and gentlemen here we are at Patrick Duncan's place we're finished with the, the basement the foundation is laid and uh, by next week we're gonna be starting going up and finishing this beautiful home Patrick Duncan spent 10 years in an old car right at this very spot can you imagine the heat in the summertime and the rain in the rainy time, coming in an old car that's rat infested. Now Patrick will have a bathroom that he can take a shower, he will have a toilet, he will have a face basin, and he'll, he'll have a bed that he can lie down comfortable and stretch out and sleep. That's what a human being is supposed to enjoy. We don't have the money, but guess what? We have the will and the way. And we know that you out there will see something like this in the future in your community and you can help someone in your own community. So we have to big up the Rudolf Prendergast Foundation and we also want to big up Stream of Hope Foundation. Big up Stream of Hope because Stream of Hope is looking at joining force with the Rudolf Prendergast Foundation and so that we can do more work and more work and help more people. We have great people working with. My friend Kingman is one of those persons that is serious about getting the job done. We have great workers like Snow, and we big up Carlos, and we big up Timmy, and my friend Lurch. We're here from early this morning, as early as eight o'clock, and we work hard. Now, we're having a drink after the job is done. So we wanna big up Sean Prendergast, and my friend Rudolph Wallace. Big up yourself all the way from Kingston, Arnett Garden, Mexico, 8th Street, Jamaica. We now left Jamaica in our place, and you know Marcus Garvey said, we must help each other. And when we help each other, guess what? We will have prosperity and life. Thank you very much for watching. See you later when we finish the foundation of Patrick Duncan. Yeah? Yeah. These are the things that we do in Jamaica. We help our brother, you know. This man you're looking at, his name is Patrick Duncans, and he has been sleeping in an old car for 10 years. And this is what we did. You know, we gave him a foundation, getting ready to build a one bedroom place, and he has so much pride. Look at him. Look at him. Sweeping up his yard, you so much. This is what I do, and this is what makes me feel good. This is what Big Stone do on a constant day. We give back to the community. 
and giving back to the community, you can put a smile and a joy on somebody's face. <laughs> Pride and dignity. He cannot talk and he cannot hear you, but he can read your lips. And all he sees is love. Look at him, Patrick Duncan. Once an homeless man, soon to have his own little place that he can call home. Okute.